Today I'm going to show you how to use Mesh Mixer to edit STL and OBJ files. I'm also going to show you how you can combine two objects into one. This is going to be especially useful if you're doing any kind of photogrammetry or 3D scanning because you often have unwanted areas that get captured during the process. Here we'll import our first file, which is a still life captured using the Turnio photogrammetry software. And you can see that our orientation is a little off, so the first thing we want to do is correct that. So if we go to the edit menu and transform, you can use these colorful handles in the center to move and manipulate the object. We can move it up and down, or in this case, we just want to rotate it around. You can see I changed the angle that I was looking at my, my object using the, the, the cube in the upper right-hand corner to get a nice front-facing view so that I could see what I was doing and make sure it was nice and flat, parallel to the ground. You can hit Accept. And the next thing we want to do is clean up our model. We want to get rid of any of that unwanted area. So you can see the, the scanner picked up a lot of the table. Um, so if we go to the Select menu, we can very easily click and drag and highlight areas that we want to get rid of. Um, there's two ways to do this. I'm using a brush right now, but another way that I like to work is to use a lasso. If you click and start dragging off of the object, you can draw a line around it and it'll select anything within the circle that you've drawn. And once you have an area highlighted that you want to get rid of, you just go up to the edit menu and discard. Once I've gotten rid of the bulk of the outer area that I want to delete, I'll go in a little bit closer and start using a brush tool. You can see my brush is a little bit too big, but there's a slider where you can change the brush size to something that'll fit your model a little bit better. And you can just go in and start to highlight areas that you want to get rid of. I'm going to call that good for now. The next thing I want to do is create a base for this. So I'm going to hop over to Fusion 360 and design a circular base. And then I'll come back into Mesh Mixer and join the two objects together. I want to keep this relatively simple, but I don't want it to be too simple. I'm going to start with a cylinder, a really squat cylinder, and I could leave it at that, but I'd like to give it a little bit more detail and make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to put a chamfer on the edge, and then I'll round off the corners with a couple of fillets.
This is a personal preference of mine when I'm designing something to be 3D printed and it has a very flat bottom like this. I like to put a very small, sometimes just one millimeter fillet on the bottom so that when it 3D prints, it comes out a little bit cleaner. Your bottom layer when you're 3D printing tends to be a little bit wider than everything else. And by putting that just slight fillet down at the bottom, uh, it makes the prints look a little ni nicer when they come off the 3D printer. Back in Mesh Mixer, we're going to click the import button again, and this time it's going to give us a little pop-up. We want to make sure we hit append, which means it's going to add a new object to our build area instead of replacing the old one. So now we have two objects, and you can see we have a little object viewer window in the bottom right-hand corner so that we can select uh, each object depending on which one we want to be working on. The first thing I want to do is just adjust the uh, location of the base. I'm dropping it down low enough so that it covers up some of the ugly part of the scan. Um, so I'm, I'm basically dropping my still life into the base a little bit, which is why I wasn't super careful when I cleaned up the unwanted areas of the still life because I knew I'd be dropping it inside the base like this. The next thing I need to do is to make that still life solid. There's actually a menu option called Make Solid, and that's what we're going to use. And it's just going to go through and fill all the holes and turn this hollow mesh into a solid mesh. And now we're ready to combine these two objects together. It's very easy. In the object viewer window in the bottom right hand corner, we just want to select the two items that we want to merge into one. The menu up in the upper left shows up and we click combine and that is it. Now if we look at the object menu on the bottom right, you can see we have our original file um, that's not made solid. We can trash that and now we just have one object that's ready to be 3D printed. The last step is just to export this file. We can export it as either an OBJ or an STL file. I'm just giving it a name here so that I know what it is, saving it, and let's 3D print it.